Well, let's head to Uganda now, where banana yields have seen a drastic decline as farmers battle the banana wilt disease, which of course is threatening to wipe out their plantations. Without readily available pesticides, the farmers have resorted to rudimentary methods to contain the spread of the disease. CGTN's Hilary Ayesiga spent the day at the farm and now reports. Signs of banana bacteria wilt a disease that majorly affects bananas. Already this banana plant cannot bear fruit. And Joseph Kitenda is uprooting much of what is left. We do not have pesticides. The only option is to cut down the plants and use detergents. If you can't buy detergent, then you hit the panga on fire. Uganda produces 10 million tons of bananas annually. But the disease is threatening output in some parts of the country and farmers like Tenda are already counting their losses. I used to load a pickup truck with bananas, but now I can hardly harvest five bunches from this plantation. But not all hope is lost. Scientists are now training farmers on how to contain the disease. When you are cutting affected banana, banana wheat, you have to use the first put the that panga in the jig when you are going to move another another plantation another store of uh, banana which is not affected you have to pick another fresh one from the jig fresh panga to go and cut uh, another fresh uh, banana store and after cutting the affected plants the farmer covers the residue with mulch this is the only available remedial action to contain the spread of the disease. Approximately one third of the bananas produced globally are grown in sub-Saharan Africa. And it provides more than 25% of the food energy requirements for more than 100 million people. Ugandan science are urging farmers to switch to improved plants that are resistant to wilt disease. It's hoped that through this effort, they will be able to secure food and income for small-scale farmers. Hilara Yesiga, CGTN, Kampala.